What's up, you guys? We're coming at you with another video because we have a developing situation in Houston this week. We all know the events of early last week with James Harden missing Rockets practice on two occasions because he was visiting a gentleman's club. We have had more of the curtain pulled back this week. There was a report this Wednesday from ESPN's Tim McMahon that dropped and it talked about a lot of the factors that drove Russell Westbrook to leave the Houston Rockets to request a trade that is. And it talked about how basically the Rockets have been bending over backwards for James Harden for a long time, just basically catering to anything he wants, kind of letting him run this team. Specifically, it talked about Harden having this inability to be on time on several occasions, a particular filming session in the bubble is mentioned that really rubbed Russell Westbrook the wrong way that they wouldn't start this filming session without James Harden. Coach Mike D'Antoni kind of told him, well, we'll just have to start the filming session over when he gets here anyway. Russell Westbrook wanted to go ahead and start without James Harden, but they wouldn't do that because, again, they, as an organization, have been appeasing James Harden. And the article talks about how James Harden being in control of this franchise and in fairness, this is the franchise's fault for kind of just giving the keys to James Harden this way. This created a casual culture and Russell Westbrook had come from the Oklahoma City Thunder, which were a very professional organization. So things like being tardy, which we also learned tardiness drives Russell Westbrook nuts. That's that's no big surprise there with how hard he seems to work and continue to work as he's moved on to the Wizards. Um, but the article just talks about how this casual culture drove him nuts. Uh, another quote that we got is, quote, he's never heard no before, end quote, from a former Rockets staffer. So again, just speaking to this idea that James Harden has just had his way any way he wants it. And so apparently since the Rockets have been telling James Harden no for once with regards to his trade request, since he still has several years left on his contract, that is perhaps speculatively what has caused James Harden to react the way he did last week, which is bad on his part, as Justin and I have talked about on the podcast, but also kind of understandable because he, in a way, is, has kind of been a spoiled child in Houston. And I don't completely mean that as insulting to James Harden. I, I more mean it as a lack of organizational structure in Houston. So I think this is really a cautionary tale to other NBA franchises in handling your superstars. I, I think it's unrealistic to think that all NBA players are going to be treated equally. That's just not the case. And if you don't believe me, I mean, just look at the different salaries and the staggering differences between a max contract player and maybe like a mid-level exception type of player. You know, you're talking about someone getting paid three, in some cases, maybe four times as much as that mid-level exception player when you're talking about a max contract star player. So I do think that you can give special treatment without going into a completely casual culture. And at the end of the day, when the Rockets bent over backwards for James Harden, it all ended up just teaching James Harden that he didn't have to respect the organization, that, that he could do anything that he wanted and get away with it. And they're just anytime you're managing a superstar kind of fostering that relationship between you and your superstar there has to be mutual understanding and respect and sometimes personalities are just going to clash that's just not going to work out 
but every relationship needs defined boundaries. And so this kind of sounds, you know, a, a lot like parenting in some ways, but really this is just this is just good management. You can't micromanage and control everything someone does. We obviously know that that is nobody likes to be managed that way. So you can't go that route, but you also can't do, you know, ice cream for breakfast style of management of just letting that player do anything he wants and and really not having any team rules it sounds like for that player so again this james harden situation is a cautionary tale to teams around the league read these stories learn from this don't do the ice cream for breakfast type of management style and the last point i kind of want to make here is you know what is the solution moving forward because Daryl Morey is posturing that he doesn't want to trade Ben Simmons, which again, this this could just be posturing before a deal happens. But what is the move for the Rockets? Is there really any hope of them fostering a relationship with James Harden moving forward into the foreseeable future? And, and my answer would be no, because you have guys on this roster that have seen this happen for years now i mean if you if you talk about guys like eric gordon that have been there for a significant amount of time you have already broken the culture here so you need to ship away the ringleader you need to get as much value as you can for james harden which the rockets are trying to do right now and you need to get him out of town you need to start the rebuilding process or maybe you get enough value that you can be some you can be a playoff seed you know possibly not even make the playoffs this year certainly but at least get some value back so you can build towards the future and build something meaningful and kind of reset the culture ultimately because you need to get the ringleader out there I, I think it's really tough once you are granted certain privileges and entitlements like James Harden has been granted from this organization, it is really, really difficult to strip that away and get back to a more disciplined, strict, or even even just orderly environment. And that's just simple human nature. That's not even any slight intended on James Harden. It, it's just difficult for anyone once you have certain lines that have been crossed it can be difficult to go back so anyway that is the video for today thank you guys for watching please like share and most of all comment let me know your thoughts on this james harden situation am i wrong can the Rockets save this do you agree with me do they need to trade him do you think as i do that ultimately he's going to end up in philadelphia let me know your thoughts and have a great rest of the day thanks for watching